Good morning, friends. Welcome once again to another Daily Dose from your COVID chaplain. Great to have you with us. Thanks for joining in and thanks for telling your friends about it. Gradually, just very slowly, more and more people are discovering the COVID chaplain and the encouragement they can get from these Daily Doses. And yesterday, we talked about something that I think should be really exciting for you. Something that should excite and encourage other people. That is that we are alive that we can party and celebrate that we have this precious thing called life. Once it's gone, psh, not coming back for us here on earth. So we want to celebrate life. So this is really celebrate life week, I guess, starting yesterday with, with celebrating that I'm alive. And then we'll just press through and look at some other wonderful things that come out of that. And today in particular, I want to talk to you about one of the Look, I'm going to say qualities, maybe one of the capacities that you have because you're alive. And that is that you still have the ability to steer your life. You know, there are people of the past who had good or bad track records. They did or didn't achieve certain things. They're famous or infamous for whatever they did. Or they're forgettable because of all the things they just never got around to doing. But they can't steer their life anywhere now. Wherever they've ended up is where they've ended up. They haven't been able to steer their life. Yet we also discover through history and through the Bible history as well, people who were going in one direction and were able to steer and then take themselves in another direction. And while you're alive, while you have life in you, you have that wonderful ability to make a choice, to, to steer where you're going and what you're going to do. Now, if you think about learning to drive and steering a car across some sort of a, a farm paddock somewhere or other, you know, you're bouncing along and, and you steer maybe to get around a log or, or to avoid a pit hole. And, and you can steer your life uh, just navigating the obstacles, uh, dealing with one argument after another or one problem after another and, and just steer your way through life. And thankfully, you're alive. So you can do that kind of steering. You can steer your life and, and, and work out how to get around a challenge or resolve something that, that's come up in front of you. That's fantastic because you're alive. We're celebrating life today. But other people will get out on a highway and they'll steer certain roads and they'll follow certain routes because they're traveling hundreds or maybe thousands of miles to go to some particular destination. And that's a different level of steering. That's not just avoiding the bumps and getting around the obstacles. That's actually steering your life with a purpose. Now, some people, they get across the paddock with hardly holding the steering wheel. They just let the car almost go wherever it wants to go. But serious people, people that are going to get their life to go somewhere, take a hold of the steering wheel and they maneuver not just around the obstacles, but they choose which destination they want to get to, which direction they want to head, where they like to arrive. And friends, some people have found themselves just rolling down the road or maybe heading in a particular direction. And then God has convicted their heart that that wasn't the right thing for them to do. That those attitudes were selfish or lustful or prideful or damaging to other people and, and that they had to stop those things. And, and under that conviction, they actually turned the steering wheel of their life and they went back in another direction. The Bible actually uses the word repent to describe the action of actually turning around and going back the other way. And friends, while you are alive, you can continue every single day, moment by moment through the day, to decide where you're steering. You, you can make your mind up in the morning and change it in the afternoon and change it again at night because you're alive. You have the ability to choose how to steer your life. Hey, that's wonderful. We're celebrating life this week. And I want you to celebrate that wonderful power that you have. But I want to challenge you to use that power wisely, to actually choose that you are going to go in the right direction. And so today, we're going to call this Steering Day. That's a good, as good a name as any, okay? We're going to call it Steering Day. And you get through this day, and as you steer around the obstacles, I want you to think about where you've actually steered your whole life. And also to think about the challenges God is giving in your heart about some of the directions and things that you are doing that God is not pleased with. They're not good for you. They're not good for the people around you. They are wrong. They're evil. They're polluted things. And you need to turn around and get away from them, move away from them. You have the ability. You have the power today 
to choose to repent, to turn around, to go a different direction, to change course. That's the power of being alive. And today I challenge you to think about that and to use today, steering day, really wisely to review all the different destinations you've headed toward, all the different things you've done or chosen to value, and to consider whether you want to keep steering in that direction or whether you in fact should turn and steer in another direction, the way God wants you to go. The things that God is telling you are really the best and right things for you to do. <laughs> so steering day could end up being quite challenging, but it's actually part of celebration, uh, celebrating life. That because you're alive, you have the power to change. You have the power to choose. You can have a better marriage. You can have a better family. You can make wiser choices. You can turn away from evil. You can get rid of the rubbish in your life. You can with God's help because you're still alive and you have the ability to steer where you want to go. Mm. So think about that and may the Holy Spirit breathe upon you and cause you to be quick and touched in your heart and mind to realize where you're steering and where you need to change direction. And because you're alive, you can. So as you think about that, and as you make some hard, maybe important decisions today, may God bless you.